Hey, this is Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com. I recently grabbed a dresser off the side of the road and I got a chance to repaint it. It was in really bad shape. I had to glue some of it back together. And then if in a previous video, I mentioned that I recently scored a Sloan Scandi Pink chalk paint for $6. So I kind of used that as my inspiration for painting this dresser. The first thing I did was give the whole thing two coats of Cocoon by Sherwin-Williams, which is a good stand-in for Annie Sloan's color Olive. It's kind of like the colors of an olive leaf on an olive tree, and it's one of my favorite neutrals. I have another video where I talk about what a great neutral it is and compare it to the Annie Sloan olive paint. If you want to check that out, I will link that down below. And then I decided to take some suggestions from a, one of Annie Sloan's books that I have. And so I took a jar lid and I decided to do some prints in Scandinavian pink all over this dresser. If you know anything about my channel, you know I, I really like traditional designs. So this was somewhat of a departure for me, kind of a little more modern. My son said he was happy I was doing something mod for a change, but I thought, since this was free and it was really a piece of junk, I had nothing to lose in just experimenting. So I just took my jar lid and I dipped it in the paint and I pressed it down all over the drawers and all over the tops and sides of this dresser. I did some with the fat side of the jar lid and some with the skinny side of the jar lid and I think it looks kind of like bubbles and I think it's a lot of fun. It, I think it also does have a Scandinavian feel. And then I took another tip from that same book, Annie Sloan's Chalk Paint Workbook. She said in Scandinavian furniture, there's often patterns painted on the sides. So I kind of took some inspiration from some of the patterns she showed, and I painted some different patterns on the edges of the furniture, both horizontally and vertically. Some little crosses and some little dots and just some little lines. And I did it all over with a small artist's brush, just kind of whatever I felt like doing or whatever felt like the right thing for that particular little strip of wood. Here's the finished product of the dresser. Um, I think it's got a really mod feel and I styled it with a basket and some lavender plants on top. I think the lavender gray green goes well with the gray green paint and complements the pink nicely too. I think I'm gonna put this in my upstairs hallway and store blankets or sweaters in it. We don't have a lot of closets in our house because it's an old house, but we do have wide hallways. So I like to put dressers in the hallways. I got that tip from Rita Koenig, who's one of my favorite interior designers. She said that if she had wide hallways, she would certainly put lots of dressers and benches in them to store blankets and sweaters and things. So that gave me the confidence to do that. And I've been slowly collecting dressers to keep in my hallways. So I've got plenty of room for my sheets and towels and sweaters and blankets. I made another video about another dresser I made for my hallway that it has a safari theme because I've decorated it with elephants and giraffes and even some toy dinosaurs. And so I think I found that these hallway dressers have been a place where we can kind of have some more fun and do some whimsical, relaxed things. 
So I like that this one is that same color. They're both painted in this cocoon by Sherma Williams. So I think they'll complement each other nicely. And they both have kind of a fun, whimsical theme instead of a more traditional or classic theme. I hope you enjoyed this trash to treasure video. If you love these kind of furniture makeovers, I've got a French country style one and an English country style one as well. This is Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com. Bye.